In this video, I'll show you how to make this typewriter effect. But before we begin, I just want to mention the typing sound effect comes from Envato Elements. They have over half a million sound effects, including over 4,000 typing sounds alone. And right now, you can get 70% off your first month, so definitely check it out. Okay, in Premiere, I just added a video clip to my timeline, as well as a text clip above that. First, let's create our cursor by right-clicking inside the Project panel and going to New Item, Black Video. Then, simply drag the black video above your text clip on the timeline and make sure it's lined up with it. Now, with your black video selected, go over to Effect Controls and turn off Uniform Scale. Then decrease the scale width to 1.5 or however thick you want your cursor to be. Next, decrease the scale height until the cursor is just a little bit taller than your text. Okay, now just drag the position's first value to the left to move the cursor to the start of your text. And you might want to adjust the position's second value a bit so that it's more centered. Moving on to the animation, let's go over to the Effects panel and type Linear Wipe into the search box. Then drag the Linear Wipe effect onto your text clip on the timeline. Make sure your text clip is selected and go over to Effect Controls. In here, start by positioning the playhead at the beginning of the clip. Now click the stopwatch next to Transition Completion to create your first keyframe. Then set the transition completion to 100%. Next, move the playhead to roughly halfway through your text clip. And set the transition completion to 0%, which will create your ending keyframe. Okay, when I play this back, we have our wipe, but it's going the wrong way. To fix this, just change the wipe angle to 270. Now it's going the right way, but it looks more like a wipe than a typing effect, so we'll need to drag the second keyframe closer to the first one to speed it up. You might have to play around a bit with the speed to find the sweet spot. I think one letter revealed for every two frames is a good speed to aim for. Next, let's animate our cursor by first selecting the black video clip on the timeline, and in Effect Controls, make sure the playhead is positioned at the start of your clip. Now, click the stopwatch next to Position to create a starting keyframe, and then move the playhead to when your text finishes its reveal. Okay, now drag the position's first value to the right until the black cursor is a little after your text. This will automatically create a second keyframe. Now we have a rough version of our typing effect, but our cursor isn't quite matching up with the wipe. So in effect controls, you can use the keyboard's right and left arrow keys to scrub through this and adjust the position's first value as needed. You basically don't want letters to be revealed before the cursor, and you also don't want the cursor to get too far ahead. Mine actually didn't need too many adjustments, but don't be surprised if you need a few more. Alright, now this looks much more like someone is typing, but it'd be even more realistic if we had a blinking cursor. For this, just drag the front of the black clip to extend its duration for however long you want it to blink for before you start typing. Then cut your black video right where it lines up with your text clip, and just make a cut every 3 or 4 frames. Now, starting from where you made your first cut, delete every other cutout chunk of black video. And I'll get rid of this little extra piece at the end too, since it's not four frames like the others. Okay, cool, now my cursor blinks before the typing. To make it blink at the end as well, you'll just need to move the playhead to where the cursor animation ends and make a cut at that position. Now make a cut every few frames for as long as you want it to blink for. And we can delete this ending part since we don't need it to blink this long. Then, like before, just delete every other cutout chunk. Okay, and if I play this back one last time, we can see our completed typewriter effect. So, as always, thanks for watching, and see you guys next time.